right, you are back with comedian David Boyle. And I <clears throat> completely fucked my finger at work today. I crushed it. I'm in pain. I'm fucked. But don't worry. As long as I can hold a microphone to my mouth, this fucking podcast goes on. It's going to take more than a little bit of fucking crushed index finger to stop me from telling you what's what. Yeah, so I fucking crushed my fucking index finger at work today. Not at comedy work, at the fucking job. An overweight open mic didn't sit on my finger. I fucking dropped a Jenny hoist on it. Oh, it fucking hurt. It's actually dumber than that. I didn't even drop it on it. I fucking guided it down directly onto my fucking finger. Every single step of the way... I knew it was going to happen. If you don't know what a genie hoist is, it fucking doesn't really matter. It's a hoist and it lifts shit. That's all you need to know. And they're fucking heavy and they're awkward and they're dangerous. And I was rolling it to the other side of the fucking job site. I thought, fuck it, I'll just tip it over and put it on its wheels and it will be easier to get it across the fucking site. You know when you can see exactly what's going to happen from the moment you start doing it and you just don't stop yourself? I started tipping it. I'm like, oh, my hand's in the wrong position here. This is an awkward position to be holding it. I should stop and get it in a good position. But I just continued. I'm like, oh, once I go over the halfway point, this is going to be very fucking heavy. And I just continued. And then I was like, oh, shit. It's got to sit on those front wheels and those front wheels aren't pinned. They're just going to suck back in and the whole thing's going to fall. And I'm like, oh, those wheels are going to fall and my fingers are underneath it. So they're going to crush my fingers. And for some reason, I still just let it drop. I just let it drop on my fucking finger and it just crushed it. I don't think the bone in it's broken, but it's fucked The nail from the cuticle is just fucking black. The nail sort of slid down a little bit and fucking went into itself. The whole thing's hard, like firm hard, like my fingers as hard as a fucking apple. And I've been in pain for nine fucking hours because fucking painkillers don't really work in the tips of your fingers. There's not enough blood circulation that goes there in the first place. So I took a bunch of painkillers excessively. I took a couple more than needed, but I was like, fuck, let's have a little party. But instead of a little party, I was falling asleep, still in pain. My whole body was fucking numb, except for my fucking finger, which was throbbing and it's still fucking throbbing right now, eight, nine hours later. It's just one thing after the other, just one fucking thing after the other. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight because I'm still in fucking pain. Maybe I'll take some more painkillers. I am starting a new podcast very soon. It's called I'm Starting Opioids. I've already made that joke to another listener who was worried when I did that episode where I'm like, I'm fucking feeling good. They were worried it might be an opioid addiction. Like it was impossible to have one good day out of 168 days or however many it was. No, that can't be right. He's addicted to fucking opioids. It's not even possible to have a naturally good day. Yeah, well, there hasn't been a lot since. So don't worry about that. And opioids and heroin and shit aren't my gig. Although I will take a few more painkillers before I go to sleep. I got told it's going to take a few months for this to even fucking heal. So I guess the biggest tragedy of the whole thing is I'm going to have to put my piano career on the back burner for a few months. I'll put a photo of my fucking finger up on Instagram at some point. I'm going to say I'll put it up tomorrow, but it could be any time in the next three years. If you don't want to miss out, add me on social media. I am at Boyle Comedy on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And thanks to everyone who's been sending me messages. I fucking appreciate it. It's real nice to hear from you. Some of you are quitting drinking yourselves. 
and I applaud you because some of you sound like some messed up fucking units and you need to fucking quit. Get control of your fucking lives, you maniacs. Actually, I might even throw a party for my one year. A sober party. Just everyone's going to be sober. No booze allowed. We all have to stand around awkwardly staring at each other. Just a bunch of sober, reformed maniacs. Just staring at each other going, what happened? That would be funny. That would be a good party though. Anyway, that's fucking me done. I'm in fucking serious pain. I know it's hard to tell because I'm a stoic, old school tough guy, but yeah, I'm in fucking pain. All right, I'll speak to you later.